All right, so we are back again with another video, and I know I have not been keeping up with this over here on the channel, and you may not know this, but back in the day when I was first starting up the Movies In Depth family, I actually reacted to each episode of season one of Euphoria, and I've actually really, really loved this show, and I've kept up with it just in my own time, and just been watching it with my wife and having a good time with it, and I've been stressed the heck out the entire time, but as many of you know, I am a musical theater performer, and this episode today on season two, episode Episode 7 is actually about the play that Lexi's about to put on, so I thought, what better time to actually start watching it with you guys than the literal episode about theater and about the play, and I'm so stressed, I really don't know what's going to happen. I hope that you guys are going to enjoy me reacting to this, because I've been seeing a lot of great videos been going up from people like Xavier, Trend Level, it's been a lot of fun time, so I'm excited to kind of join in at the last little bit. You guys are going to have to let me know if you also want to see me react to the finale, because I know that's just going to be a giant cluster F, and I just have no no idea what's about to happen. I'll give my thoughts on what I'm thinking about what the finale is going to entail at the end of the episode. I won't go too much into spoilers right now, but if you guys are excited, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Follow me the two social medias, Twitter, Instagram, both fun times. Don't forget to smash the notification bell so you get notified every single time a new video goes live, including maybe the finale of Euphoria. Also, don't forget to check out my Twitch where I wanted to let you guys know I will be doing a birthday subathon as soon as this video goes live on February 23rd the day before my birthday so please head over to the twitch page you can see me go live have a good time it's going to be a lot of fun so don't forget to check it out and maybe even subscribe if you're feeling frisky also don't forget to check out my patreon for the full uncut link reaction to this and all other movies and tv shows covered on the channel as well and dear mother of god let's just get right into this is it even a euphoria episode if we don't have violence, nudity, and sexual content? I mean, that's like the prerequisite at this point. I'm writing this play and I was wondering if I could put it on. What in the world does she think she's gonna be able to do when freaking Cassie shows up and she sees herself literally on stage? It's, it's gonna be like the Spider-Man meme. That man's an imposter. That man is the imposter. <laughs> Also, side note, how in the hell did the police not actually catch Rue? She was high, literally about to detox, and you couldn't catch her? She was able to get away from you on a trash can? What? I'm worried that she's gonna see the play and then she's gonna freak out. She will. All right, let's go, baby. I just wanna hear her say, dear God, what the f have I done? <laughs> We're ready. Thank you, childlike voice inside my head. God, this play is going to stress me the f*** out. This is giving me super old-timey musical vibes. I'm singing in the rain. Oh no, we transitioned from the play to the funeral? Why does this show love to toy with my emotions? It's basically a yo-yo string at this point. We'll figure it out. When he was young. Why do you say that to people? You're at the funeral and you're talking to the widow of a husband that just died. Oh, he was so young. No sh This is a duo I wish that we had the entire season. <laughs> Rue? Oh no, this is the f Wait, what the f Why did they all look so weird? Why did those three look so weird? I know that's supposed to be Kat, Cassie, and Maddie, but those did not look like Kat, Cassie, and Maddie. What the f is happening? How are you feeling? I'm just snorting drugs off of a book. How do you think I'm feeling? It's not that bad. How do you even go about even beginning to talk to your friend after something like this happens? I, I would have no idea what to say. Be a bell tower. Are we actually on the stage and now? You the bell. Yeah. What is it like? First of all, what high school has the budget to do this? Because I should have been there. Be the mystery at the crossroads. And if any of her friends see this, what the f are they gonna say? To the rushing water. Oh, like that. This is awkward. <laughs> Love you, Jules. Very company. But it wasn't until that day at her dad's memorial. Who in the world do they have playing Rue? Ooh, wouldn't that have been the tea though if they got like Gina to play Rue? That would have been some <laughs> What in the f was that smile? My sister, Holly. Not to be mistaken with Cassie. Her best friend, Marta. This is the doppelgangers we knew we didn't want. <laughs> At least they kept the glitter tears. And my best friend, Jade. Damn, they did Zendaya dirty. Bring out the letters now. You gotta calm down a little bit there, girl. And this is life. 
Come on, this has got to be his redemption arc. Cat has been treating him dirty. But our life. I see what you did there. Nice. Wait, is this f play about us? Have you still not put two and two together? <laughs> I keep second guessing myself and getting, it's gonna upset people. You're writing an entire play about your friends' lives and inviting them to come see it. They might be a tad upset. Someone invited me to a play and they didn't even tell me I was a character in it. Listen to Fezco. He's being the voice of reason here, Lexi. I love you, but what you are doing is a little messed up. Just a little bit. It's if Cassie sees the play and thinks I'm being cruel. How about you just don't invite her then? Smart. Again, Fezco. Smart. I think the most defining moment of my adolescence was when my sister went through puberty. Oh yeah, this isn't going to piss anybody off at all. Mother of Christ. What? I've been on this planet for 38. I need this for the rest of the show. Sorry, sweetie, you've been recast. <laughs> Look, I know being informed. I'm just so happy. I want this for the rest of the show. 433 days and I'd look just like her. Except reality hits. That's me up there. Yo, Ash, get the door, man. We've still got this whole subplot going on where, where Fez might actually get thrown into prison. Crying? <laughs> a directorial note. You just take it and move on. Damn, Lexi is a savage. Most like sh I love the theater. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Yeah, we stepping out tonight. Except she's literally double-crossing you. Where are you going? Don't worry about what I'm doing, man. Worry about yourself. All right. Is he about to plant something in here? Did he just plant something? He's gonna be recording the whole next conversation. I swear to God, if one character needs to die in this show, which I know they're kind of leading that up to, it needs to be that little face. Look, I get it that Fezco is a drug dealer and like we shouldn't be rooting for him, but I love him to death. I do not want anything bad to happen to him. I could see myself now. What the f is this production design? Hi. <laughs> Hi. For some reason, I really just want to get drunk, go with the mom to see cats. Uh. I really wish I'd bone Lexi Howard. Where's his Oscar? Give it to him. He's cross-dressing and giving us the performance of a generation. <laughs> they're like, hey, we're part of the show too, baby. Well, maybe they're still growing. No, they're fully formed. Well, you don't have to be a about it. To be honest, I'm not really the kind of person who wants to be known for their body. Oh, sweetie, that's my entire existence. No, I'm just, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I wasn't even looking at him, I swear. No, f Oh, f me. This is gonna get so bad so fast. This is gonna get so bad so fast. Well, she certainly looks the part. How has she not kicked her ass at this point? That's a better question. Taking the smallest moments and dreaming them up. The camera work on this is so good though. Of course I'm a beat it. Oh, Fezco, where the f you at? A little exchange and I fall in love. They are so cute. I swear to God, if they don't get together at the end of this and Fez goes to jail or dies or something, I'm gonna be so freaking pissed. I think he's just sleeping. It's the middle of the day. Oh, is that their dad? Oh, man. I think we should have mom come pick us up. Be rude. Yeah, but he's also not even able to hold his keys up. I know you're 13, but you've got to have a lit- no, I can't. I... Oh, no. <laughs> I swear to God, they get in a car crash. I'm gonna come find this fictitious character and kick his freaking. Oh, not on the seat though. No. Oh, that's just, oh, oh, sweetie. I've got a napkin for you. I don't think we need to be cooler. Oh, we should at least try and know it's cool. I'm surprised she's so okay with this. I'd be having a mental breakdown if I saw this on stage. I don't want anybody knowing how much of a goober I was. Oh, I'm a goofy goober! Oh. Again, I'll say it. What's the budget for this? I mean, come on. Yeah, don't tell anyone. Oh, Ruin it. She just say I just feel like in 10 years technology is gonna get no idea who that is. Quinny, your date's here. Become the new military industrial complex and start making I thought we were doing a show about euphoria. Be a bell tower. How in the world they coordinate that? I feel like I don't know anything about your life anymore. I'll tell you when you get back. Except she wasn't able to go, though. That's so sad. Why are they denying her some rehab? This girl is going to hit rock bottom of rock bottoms. That if I ever wanted to be with you, all I would have to do is close my eyes. Why does this show like to toys my emotions? I'll never understand. 
memories exist outside of time. You put her own speech in your play? Hey, come Hello. on, join us. <laughs> you know something I'm still wondering? What does the mom do for a living? All we do is see her drinking wine. What does she do during the day? My heart is very short. That transition to him being the dad, oh my God. <laughs> I tried. Either one of two things gonna happen. They're all gonna get pissed at her and just try to kick her butt, or they're all gonna somehow respect her because they think she captured it beautifully. I just don't see that happening though. I think we're going with option one and it's gonna be chaos ensued. Oh, that was a good transition. Broke me, but that was a good transition. Not toxic at all. Not toxic at all. He's literally dressing her like a doll. I mean, what does that say? You can never scare me. That's <laughs> That is some hot bull <laughs> You okay? My God. Oh my God, the transitions back and forth is blending reality for me and I don't know what the f is going on. Life, I've always had this feeling that at any moment. Where is Fez? Where is Fez? Hey, come here. What's sad is I think she's starting to fall for Fez because Fez has been so good to her because Fez is a good person. He may do drugs, he may sell drugs, but he's a good person. <laughs> oh, Ashtray's on this baby. We got brothers in arms. You guys are about to get clapped. You are doing such a terrible job. I could tell that you were nervous a mile away. You got the lip tremble. <laughs> <laughs> I would totally do that. Screw this show for being so good. Screw it. Good night. I've been telling a lot of people though, this show wouldn't be half as good if the cinematography, lighting, production design wasn't as good as it is. You know what I mean? Just story-wise, wouldn't be that great. But you add in all these different cool ways of telling the story, like, and it's absolutely fantastic. Looks so cute. What the f happened on the way there? What the f Jules and I hadn't spoken since that bull intervention, even though I see her around. I just hope they get back together at the end of this. Although, Rue was an absolute b to everybody. I just hope we finally get our redemption arc for her. I need it at this point. Oh, but we still haven't even talked about the fact that Jules was cheating on her while they were together. That's a whole nother can of worms we're not gonna open yet. You wanna kill yourself doing drugs? Go ahead. I'm not gonna stand in your way. Where the f is this coming from? And you're gonna make whatever decisions you're gonna make. I'm taking you off my plate. I don't know if I would say that even after all that. I'm gonna focus on Gia. Ah, Gia. I think I said Gina. But if you say she's fine, I'll just take your word for it. Dang, this is tough love at its finest. I didn't know any of that. You only ever think about yourself. I honestly don't know what's the good parenting method at this point. Is it tough parenting? Is it supportive? I don't know. If I have to choose between losing one daughter or two, I'm gonna fight to save her. Damn, Mama Sita. I don't know if I'd say that. No, that's fair. I know it's probably true in her heart, but I don't know if I'd say that to her. Move it, move it. Ethan is a queen and I love it. You know, what do we need in our high school play? Slightly dressed cheerleaders having a great old time with red lighting and Chicago music. Let's do it, baby. It's like, I didn't stick my tongue out like that, the f Okay, okay, I'm not running a brothel here. Oh my God, I love it! That's me. You see what I did there? Drunk, a mess, and saying nonsense, that's me, baby. My parents used to fight all the time too, so I get it. She basically said, hey, everybody's dirty laundry. Hand that to me. I'm gonna dump it all in front of the entire school for everybody to see. I expect no repercussions and only applause. Over the f door, Cassie. Damn. And our friendship, and if you wanna throw it away, then fine. Damn, I can't blame her, but this sucks. Open the Door, Cassie. This is like one of those situations where it's just no good answer is gonna happen. Nothing good's gonna happen from this. Coward. It's true. You're a coward and I would have never done this to you. Also true. Yeah, that's about right. This is so tough because I like her character and I enjoy what she's done for the story, but she's only got herself to blame for all of this because she did this and she knew what would happen. But at the end of the day, I think she's just super, super easily manipulated. It's like Euphoria's Joker moment. The Rangers in the metro. Did she put this in the play? No, she did not. No, she f did not. If you control what I want. Yeah, because that's healthy. I belong to you. Oh, not the f 
Dumb. Just like his dad? Come on, that's daddy issues times 5,000. No one's ever loved me as much as you. No one ever will. Where's Ethan's Tony? I need Ethan's Tony! What in the black mirror head is this? Oh, sh no, don't be Jules. Son of a Oh no. Also, where the hell has Cal been for the past two episodes? He really just pissed in the house and left. <laughs> what the f Oh my god, no. <laughs> How traumatized is this kid? How f traumatized? There you go. I was about to say, don't burn it. Just literally smash that I just feel like I'm gonna break his heart. It's good practice. Oh, she's talking about the little kid. I was like, wait, what? Is she talking to Nate? What? You didn't have to. I know. Something tells me you'll enjoy it. Something tells me? You've been watching her on that cam, haven't you? More cholesterol, Sarah. But it makes my skin break out. I don't care. <laughs> Rachel Berry who? You've silenced my talents. I'm merely protesting. Jesus, what is his body fat percentage? I can see his muscles of muscles. Mick, Mick, a blind three-year-old could do a better job than you. <laughs> all right, I know this is all f***ed up and this is all messed up, but you got to be impressed with Lexi to be able to even pull this off from a directorial standpoint. Jesus Christ, did you see that guy literally freaking 12-pack over there? By the way, your friend never came to pick up his ticket. Oh, thank you for hurting my heart right now in the biggest moment of the show. Thank you very much. You don't mess with an ashtray. Yo, you think uh, the other people think that I look handsome? Fez is a mess. I swear to God, do not hurt my boy Fez. I swear to God, if they kill Fez, I'm going to be so pissed. Oh, come on, girl. He's been so nice to you. Just tell him what's going on. He literally did not owe you a thing, and you're doing him this dirty like this. For this little goatee wearing <laughs> Yeah, you see that nose injury you got there? I did that first. I can do a lot worse than that. Oh my god, Fez looks like such a stud. Come on, let's post some iron, boys. Oh my god, not the 80s Jazzercise video. Yes! Let's go, baby! <laughs> Come on, just vibe with it. Got to be fresh from the fight. I mean, seriously, think about the, all the planning and rehearsing that went into this. <laughs> she did my baby girl did that. <laughs> Never did I expect to have a um, blast off in the middle of a Euphoria play. Oh, what the f am I talking about? It's f Euphoria. <laughs> Ethan deserves so much better. Look at this king. I want to go to this high school so bad. <laughs> what What am I even watching anymore? What is this? Lexi, you're a G. Yeah, we're just gonna brush over all the rest of the parts of where you like had us all give out our emotional baggage. You got Nate, man. Now we're good, baby. <laughs> well, this is awkward. As to quote Rue from the first episode, damn. Damn. You want Get the f out of my house. I'm done. Wait, you're kicking her out because of Lexi? Would I expect any less? No. Oh boy. She's gonna be pissed. Oh good god, that is the face of a murderer right there. Cassie girl, it's not worth it. You've gotta be me. No! It's ending there! What happened to Fez? I I legit don't even know what to say at the end of an episode like that. I mean, what the f like, that was so good, so original, completely ridiculous that they would actually be able to pull that off in a high school setting, but if they could, I would give them every Tony that the Broadways have ever given out in their entire existence. That was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. I don't know if we're gonna get Act 2 or if we're just getting the story continued for the next episode. I don't know. I need to know what happens to Fez. They've been setting it up this whole time that Fez is gonna die. I kind of got the inklings that maybe Ashtray might go at the end of this, or Fez might go to prison. I don't know. I just know they're gonna mess up my freaking thing with Fez and I wanted Fez and Lexi to be together and it seems like Rue and Jules are kind of like at least on not fighting terms now it seems like Maddie and Cassie are no longer friends Cassie just got her dumped Cassie's about to kick Lexi's I, there's so much happening. I am so happy that I watched this episode because I had too much fun with it. I hope you guys did as well. You are going to have to let me know if you want to see me react to the finale next week. I'm super excited for that. But if you like what you saw here today and you want to see more, if you could please, for the love of God, hit that like button and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Also smack the post notification bell so you get notified every single time a new video goes live. Don't forget to head over to Twitch at twitch.tv slash movies in depth where I will be streaming live right now with the subathon. It's a good time. Head on over there. Don't forget to 
check out my Discord community, and don't forget to check out my Patreon for the full-length reaction, and also exclusive Patreon reactions like U Season 3, Firefly, and Supernatural. And besides all that, all euphoria, you all, in another one, mother of.